Morning guys. So Slade with you today and I have had lots of questions. Uh, maybe not so much, my glasses ain't staying straight. Maybe not so much on the channel, but some on the channel, but I have lots of questions at church when I'm out eating, uh, here at the store every day. Uh, Slade, Slade, Slade. I want a crossbow. What do I need to do for a crossbow? These are $500. These are $1,500, $1,600. These are $2,500. What do I need to do about a crossbow? So, uh, I have an opinion. Y'all know what opinions are like. <clears throat> so, I have three crossbows laid out here, and I'm going to kind of give you the gist of the crossbows and kind of my opinion. I got a lot going on in the shop today. I got to I gotta work on some, I uh, got a couple of strings and cables I get it, got to get put on bows, but I hope this kind of answers a gamut of the questions about all the, about just crossbows in, in general. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not pushing a brand here. I, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to say this one is better than this or, but I probably will because I have a pretty strong opinion on one of these crossbows and why I like it the best but i say that to say this i'm not knocking other crossbow brands so without further ado here we go crossbow talk follow the fanchers so just for kicks and giggles i walked out there on the floor i got three crossbows okay i got the barnett white tail hunter here that retails for about five hundred dollars i got the mission sub one xr which is mission if you know matthews makes it I think it retails for $1,700. And then I have the Raven R29 here. And I think it retails, what is it? Is it it's $2,299, okay? So I have three different, three different crossbows, three different looks. As far as the axle to axle goes, I know everybody wants the super slim axle to axle crossbows. And obviously, I have them at three different price ranges, okay? This is, this is what I'm going to look at first, and this is what I'm going to tell y'all about these crossbows. So, kind of the first thing that I look at, because it matters to me, is the optics, okay? <sighs> I'm going to say this, and some of you are going to argue with me. I don't know why, and I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm a big optics guy especially on my rifles, okay? But I say this all the time and I don't, I'm not being a smart aleck, okay? Just because a crossbow has a stock and a trigger, don't make it a rifle. Uh, I like good optics, but I'm not sure that great optics are necessary on a crossbow. If you look in here in this Barnett, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this with all of them. You see you got a 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 yard crosshair. I don't know why you really need anything other than that. Most of these scopes, they're, I mean, they're just good little solid optics. They're pretty tough. They are easy to zero. You're not gonna be taking 80, 90, 100 yard shots. You don't need huge objective lens because you know, you're not gonna be shooting super, super late. And let's just be honest, in Mississippi, I mean, if you are shooting at a deer over 30, 40, 50 yards, move your corn up. Just move your corn up. Now, come on. Yeah, don't everybody sit there and say, oh, I would never hunt over corn. I'm not shooting deer over corn. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Everybody is shooting deer over corn. So that's my my deal on optics. But back to the to the other ones. Let's show so you this. This is the optic inside the mission. Obviously, if you see here, let me see if I can make that focus. So it has a 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then down here, probably you can't see. Yeah, there you go. It is marked 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now, people ask me all the time, how far will a crossbow shoot? Well, I mean, 
that's a tough question. How far will your rifle shoot? And at one angle, are you pointing it up in the air to see how far it'll go? I mean, now, is this mission crossbow accurate? And can you be successful at 100 yards? Yes, you can be. You can be with this crossbow too. But I deer, the deer I hunt in Mississippi, let me make sure I cut this dude off. The deer I hunt in Mississippi, I would even say 70 yards, but much less 100. When that happens, which all these crossbows are loud, okay? The mission is the quietest, the smoothest crossbow on the market, hands down. But still, my deer, my crazy deer, if you shoot at a deer at 80 yards, you might hit him in the butt on the other side as he turns to go the other way. So I do like the optic on that mission. And then basically, uh, mission uses Hawk optics, which you can, you can look up, up Hawk optics. They, they, they make great, great stuff. And then I'm pretty sure, although I don't see on here, Raven, I think uses Hawk optics also. Let's get in here and see. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. So same thing, you have 20, 30, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 on it. And it'll do just like the mission, they'll do red or green, okay? So I like both of these. I mean, all three crossbow optics are great. On the Raven, on the mission, or even on the $500 bar Barnett. Look, that boat right there, for $500 will do all you need it to do. So that's optics, okay, done with optics. Next thing is the axle to axle length. Okay, that is from here to here, okay? From here where my thumb is to here. The Raven from here to here. Again, my opinion, axle to axle length is not a big deal to me, okay? I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Again, crossbows are big, bulky, and cumbersome. All of them. I love them, though. They are a great tool. Aiden Fancher, from the time he was about seven to the time he was 12, when I had to pry it out of his fingers to make him shoot a crossbow, they are so effective on deer. So effective. So I love them for that reason. But the whole axle to axle link's not that big a deal to me, so I'm not gonna stay on that subject very long. The next thing is cocking these crossbows, okay? This has your standard rope cocker on it, okay? It hooks up here. It's kind of like a set of blocking pulleys right here. It aids you in cocking the crossbow. It's pretty easy. Most people, if you're pretty healthy, you can cock this crossbow. Really no big deal. I'm not a huge fan. You can put a crank on this crossbow. I'm not a huge fan of Barnett's cranks. Uh, I'm just, I'm just not that way. Mission, it comes with the rope cocker. In my opinion, again, Mission has this RSD system. It's removable silent draw. So if you want the crank, it hooks up right here. Uh, I may show you how that works. I don't know that there's a better cocking system than this right here. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be real and honest and I fool with all kind of different cranks on all kind of different crossbows. I love this, this crank device. I like how easy it's on off and how easy it works. Okay. It's only a rope cocker. Now with the Raven, if I flip this crossbow around, their crank is positioned here and then it goes right here. It works really well, okay? My only negative is that when you release it, so this slides all the way up the rail, then that is your trigger, safety, all your mechanism is right there. So, mm, uh, I don't have many issues with it, but if you do have issues, then you're out of business there. But, oh, also on this Raven, if it were me and the ones I sell, and I tell people all the time, so you see that bolt right there? That comes off, 
this whole deal comes off, which is your your bracket for your quiver and your uh, your cocking device. I would take this whole little piece here off and I'd put it in my backpack. It just it just kind of stays in in the way. And, and and I'm that way with all crossbows, even on this mission. As easy as this quiver is to roll in and out. You see how easy that was? So this just kind of adds to the bulk, although I love it. Matthews has been using that a long time. I would take my quiver off and I would put it in my backpack. So real talk, <clears throat> crossbows, crossbows are one thing. They are violent machines, okay? Uh, as a whole, crossbows are loud i say again in my opinion the mission is the smoothest quietest uh crossbow out there as far as crossbows go but when you start getting up and, and i'll add 10 point and uh there's a couple other crossbow brands when you start getting up in the 420 430 450 500 feet a second guys it's gonna be violent it's gonna be loud ain't no way to quieten it down you you can't so don't you know maybe don't go to your local bow shop and start adding stuff to limbs and stuff on your string it ain't gonna stay there it's just it's just plain and simple not gonna so, do it all of them uh they're just loud violent machines uh i, I tell people they're about like slamming a car hood i know a lot of you out there probably don't even you probably don't even know how to get up under your car hood, much less slam it. But no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. They, uh, they are that they just are what they are. Uh, so depending on what you want to do, this crossbow right here for five hundred dollars, guys are gonna. Th th this is what my customer base does. This okay? is just the truth, and this is what goes on. Uh, you're gonna go to your local retailer. Maybe you'll come to me. Maybe you'll let me ship you one. But you're going to buy a crossbow uh put it together unless you come here and i put it together for you that's the perks coming to owens outfitters uh you're gonna buy a crossbow you're gonna take it home you're gonna shoot it zero it. it's gonna take you eight ten twelve shots and you're gonna prop it up in the in the corner of your hunting room or bedroom and you're gonna be done with it till season opens okay you just can't get outside and shoot a crossbow and it be fun like you can your vertical bows okay it is a strain to get out there every day cock these crossbows and shoot these crossbows and it's just you're just not going to do it 20 30 40 times like you do your vertical bow so you're going to prop it up and you're going to be done with it till season starts the one thing i see and the one thing you need to know crossbows have steps a b c okay if you don't get a or b right then c you messed up okay you end up with a messed up finger uh, you break something, especially where I see it the most, is on crossbows that have decocking devices. I told a guy the other day, he asked me about decocking a crossbow. I almost don't even like to tell my customers how to decock a crossbow. And, and I'm just being honest about that. Let me show you this. The best way to decock a crossbow, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video. Hey, make sure you're liking and subscribing to the to the channel but the best way to decock a crossbow when you get done hunting okay you take your crossbow bolt you take it out of your crossbow you leave your crossbow cocked okay nothing wrong with leaving it cocked lay it on your back seat travel home all right with it cocked people are saying it's loaded no it's not loaded it you don't have an error in it okay when you get home and you walk up on your front porch or your backyard or your hunting room or whatever this is what you I need have to do. a target on my front porch with one of my arrows okay look it's real simple i have a target tip on one of my arrows i get this arrow i back up three steps i shoot my target on my front porch i get home when i'm done shooting it i pull it out and i prop that arrow up right back against my target and i walk in the house next time you get done hunting your one crossbow bolt your target everything's right there you're not worrying about all the steps that you have to go to 
to decock a crossbow. And I promise you, as nice as some of the, the cocking devices and and stuff are on crossbows, you can take this from Slade at Fidel of Fanchers. I guarantee you, if you do that and you decock your crossbow that way by shooting it, every single time you shoot, you won't have any issues with a busted string, uh, getting hurt or something like that trying to decock a crossbow. Anyway, guys, this is just a little, little, little quick video. It's, you know, starting to get time uh, bow season, crossbow season is starting to get here. Lots of guys have early velvet season coming. I hope y'all will like this video. It's just, <clears throat> there's something you need to know. I'm not super smart. I'm not super technical. Uh, I'm a simple dude, but I know what works. I've been doing this and around this and fooling with customers for 15 years. I know what works, I promise. Uh, I'm not saying it's always the best, but if you'll follow these rules of crossbows, it will work. Guaranteed it'll work. You can buy this $500 crossbow or you can buy a $2,500 crossbow if you want to. That's whatever you want to do as a person and a hunter and you'll be successful, but follow these rules. You won't have any issues. Things will be a lot better on all your hunting trips and stuff like that. So I appreciate all the uh, new subscribers, like all the, I Thank you for all the likes uh, and all that. We love you at Father the Fanchers. God bless. Jesus saves and he loves you more than anybody else. So make sure you give him all the praise, honor, and glory for everything you have and even the things that you don't have. I was, I was praying the other day and I said, Lord, you know what? Thank you for answering this prayer. But Lord, also thank you for maybe not answering prayers. Think about that. We'll see you.